I hate Mondays. Mondays suck. I have the case of the Mondays. Now, all of us have said something along that lines because it's true, Mondays can be difficult. But in this video, guys, we're gonna talk about how to make Monday your favorite day of the week. All right, guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Today is another episode in the Motivational Monday series. I'm all about helping you enjoy your Mondays as well as your Fridays. But with that, let's talk about Mondays. We hate Mondays. Mondays suck. And then we also hate Tuesdays because it's just a glorified Monday, let's be honest. Then Wednesday, hump day, you know. Wednesday also sucks. Thursday, it's kind of forgettable, a little closer to Friday, and then Friday, that's the glory day. Everybody looks forward to Friday. No one looks forward to Mondays. So it's kind of weird though, guys. Almost half of a week, if not more, is not looked forward to. That's almost like reading a book and saying, the first half of this book, useless, don't care for it. It's not until the end that I'm excited. Or I wanna watch this movie, but I'm not gonna pay attention for the first hour because let's be real, the first hour is not that fun anyways. Or even more scary, it's like saying your day is not useful or impactful or important until you get halfway through. No one thinks like that, right? Why do we do it on a weekly basis? And so obviously we need to understand that Mondays should be just as important as Fridays. It's an ideal situation, but let's understand how we can get there. So one of the things guys that I use and do to make Mondays my favorite day of the week, and I promise you it actually is, is I use Mondays as like a marker to remind myself I'm gonna dominate this week. Um, I may not have dominated last week or it may not have gone the way I wanted to, but Mondays are a good reminder, fresh new start, let's go, time to work, whatever it may be. And you can do that in every aspect of your life. You may, I'm gonna be a better student, I'm gonna be better at productivity, I'm gonna be better at X, Y, and Z, fill in the blank. But I use Mondays as a reminder, this is the week, today is the day. So another thing you can do is to have a baby goal at the end of each week towards an ultimate goal. But I'll give you an example. For this YouTube channel, for instance, my crazy, my crazy audacious goal is to have 25,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Now I didn't misspeak, it wasn't a typo, 25,000. And you probably looked over to see where am I at right now, probably nowhere close to it when you're watching this video, but that's okay. That's a crazy ultimate goal. The small goal is to get maybe an extra 50, extra 100, extra couple of hundred subscribers uh, on a weekly basis. So then I use Monday to ask myself, okay, this is the week. I need to just get 100 more subscribers and then move towards my ultimate goal. I use Mondays as a reminder to first remind myself of my big goal and ask myself what small step am I going to do to get there. So try that out if you're struggling getting through your Mondays but also have big audacious goals like we all do. Use Mondays as a reminder saying today is going to be the day and this is the one small goal I'm going to get to make sure that big goal is successful. Now I'll give you three more things that I use to make Mondays my day of the week. And one of them is to just be grateful for the life that I have and the opportunity to continue to build the life that I want. You know, Mondays is often seen as the start of the week, but often in a negative context. But be grateful, you got another week. You can get towards and closer to your goal. You have another chance. If last week, last month didn't go well, if Sunday was crappy, Monday can make uh, another stride in the right direction. So be grateful, look at it as an opportunity and not a hindrance. Another thing you can do is to break your big week into a mini week. So for example, I will break uh, my seven day weeks into like three or four day span and have like little missions. So from Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'll assign myself one goal. So for the YouTube channel or for the mdjourney.com, it may just simply be get all your videos recorded by the first half of the week. And even if I don't, that's okay, it's a mission, I still have the rest of the week to accomplish it, but if I get it done those first three days, oh, I feel so good. And that's like any of you guys who set out these big goals, to-do lists, and once you get them done early, you feel good about yourself. So that's how you can own your Monday. Create mini goals uh, and mini missions halfway through and saying on Wednesday, did I accomplish it? Because if you didn't accomplish it on Wednesday, Wednesday can be your day of the week where you can say, all right, let's do it on until next Saturday or Sunday and then repeat. So have these little mini missions um, to kind of accomplish your goals and your progress. And finally, guys, it's just a reminder, you gotta avoid bad mouthing and negative talking. You know, if you look at Mondays like everybody else does, like a crummy day, you're from your weekend vacation, you gotta go back to work, back to school, 
your Mondays are going to suck. It's going to be hard waking up. It's going to be hard um, going to whatever obligations you have. And you're always going to look forward to Fridays because you look at your free time as your most exciting time. But if you look at your school as everything you do on a Monday as something to look forward to, as something to build forward to, then I promise you it's going to be easier to wake up. Not completely easy, but it's going to be easier. And maybe you can make it your favorite day of the week. So remember guys, Mondays is your reminder, your day to own it, to own the week, to own the day. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed another episode in the motivational monday series if you did make sure you leave a comment down below hit that like button and subscribe button as well and thank you for being a part of my journey hopefully i've been a little help on yours i'll see you guys in the next one take care guys